to us about social justice and poetry. Do you guys want to talk at your desk groups a little bit, men, or do you want to? Okay, guys, let's have one person at a time now, then, please. Shh. Finish up your discussions at your table group or at your desk groups, and let's listen now in a big group, please. Shh. Odessa, it's time to. Okay. So, Sophia said. Okay. Why, why racism and sexism? Um, both can be very hard to get a job. They might look at you differently and be like, oh, you're a girl, what pay you less? Or, oh, you're a different ethnicity than us, let's pay you less. So very true. Yeah, women are very discriminated against, especially in the, uh, the with jobs, employment, especially pay. Women are paid a lot less than than men, and that's very unfortunate. It shouldn't have to be that way. And there are people fighting against that, but I think it's, there's a long fight ahead of us. Kind of to go along with that, equality, and also um, like, it seems like it's uh, being written about like homelessness and justice and um, communication mm -hmm. and justice. And, um, homelessness? Yeah, homelessness is, is pretty huge, especially. Even here in Rockford, I, I've heard that 39% of the children in the public school system are homeless. And that's, that's very unfortunate. Um, anybody else? We got homelessness, education, sexism, racism. What else? I don't really know how to put it, but like you are like a homosexual. Uh, homosexual. Oh, yeah. yeah. Homosexual. against homosexual people. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. part of sexuality. Mm -hmm. Any type. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, a really good one. I'm glad that you mentioned yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Have you seen any any examples of that here in Rockford? Or what do you think? Um, not really, but I think it is on the uh, internet, like, you know, 
doing that or things at the church that like they want to give their small and stuff if they're like mm-hmm. having money to like buy something and stuff. And yeah, my other two boys are like transgender people too. Oh yeah, the transgender people are are in a big fight these days for equal rights and it's the, the next movement. But I think eventually, just like um, gay rights, eventually we'll have trans transgender rights. It might take a while, but mm-hmm. I think eventually it'll probably happen in this country. Um, mental illness and um, like fresh water. Fresh water. Oh yeah, that's that's big, especially in other countries. Fresh mm-hmm. water. I can think of it. Africa has a big issue with fresh water. Uh, and, and, not, and not just think about Africa, there are other countries too that don't have clean fresh water and people have to fight for it. And that, that shouldn't exist either. Have you guys heard about what happened in Flint, Michigan? <coughs> yeah. Have you heard? Oh, yeah, the dirty water. No, the water. Yeah. Well, the water that they um, didn't tell the people that they changed their water supply from Lake Erie or whatever Great Lake it was to the river in Flint. Mm. And the water was so contaminated that they think they have a generation of children who have been mentally impaired by having really high lead levels in their water. And it's horrible. And they knew about it and it took a year. People were going to them complaining, saying, my water smells funny, my water tastes funny. and and this is water that not only should people not even drink, they shouldn't wash their clothes in it, they shouldn't take a shower in it, they, it was, it, it's, that is really, really they're crazy. talking about criminal charges against the governor of Michigan wow. for, um, for this. So yes, it's a problem we hear about in other countries. How scary that it happened in, in this country it's not too. Far, it's not far from it. Flint, no. Michigan, that's not far from it. No. Even Detroit, they had water shutoffs in Detroit the water bills were were high so the um, the city government decided since people couldn't pay their bills or wouldn't they would shut their water off wow. and when there's a water shut off in a house children can't be there so some children got taken from home because they were in homes that didn't have any water but it was they couldn't afford the water bill so what do you do about that mm-hmm. places when it comes to gang gang violence yeah. and it's been like that for years it was it was like that when I was, I was you guys were age even before Chicago I don't know what it is about Chicago the the, the gang violence there is just it's out of control and I was I watching a documentary on like the Bloods and the Crips like which is the Los Angeles gang um do you know why they say that that I don't know about all gangs but why those gangs started 
I know, I know about the Chicago right. game and Stargate. I wonder if it's the same. It was they wouldn't let African Americans into the Boy Scouts, so they created their. It didn't start off as being like a violent thing, mm -hmm. but that's what the documentary was saying is that we weren't allowed in the Boy Scouts. They wouldn't let us into any kind of groups like that. So we said, hey, we'll start our own club, and it was like a, it was meant to be like a club. Mm. That's my first time hearing that. Yeah, it's a documentary. It was really good. Very interesting. What, what about Chicago now? I'm curious why Chicago. I know the Chicago game started because they were actually, um, they were peaceful, peaceful game, a peaceful crew that kept the yeah, peace in the city. And then there were law enforcement, there were people who flooded the Chicago peace game to turn them against each other, flooded them with guns, and then that's when the violence started. Wow. So it's unfortunate. Guns and drugs. And you know, we don't we don't make guns, so you know how can we get them? And the drugs come from overseas, so how do we get the drugs? So they have to be flown over to this country or or, or put on the boat to get over here. So you know we just don't have those things. Those things are placed in communities that you know uh, it's unfortunate, very unfortunate. Thing. Yeah, there was a, a conversation discussion on NPR this morning about the Second Amendment that deals with guns. And I think it's, it's probably the biggest issue right now besides Black Lives Matter. So, yeah, we have, I think we have a long way to go when it comes to gun rights and people understanding each other's, each other's side in order to people for not to die. Yeah. yeah, it takes a person to shoot to shoot the gun. Yeah, I mean, they can't, they, yeah, they can't be shot, they can't shoot themselves, it takes a person. So. It's the person the mentality behind the behind the gun. And I think we have to address that. You know, I, I appreciate what Obama is doing, the new thing that he's done, that he had the press conference for. But there are already there are three hundred million guns in in the state alone. So I am not the state, it's this country. So how do you how do you deal with three three hundred million guns already in this country? People aren't responsible and they can take care of it. Like the cash you have to have your What about being peaceful? What do you all think about being peaceful? Would that help? Oh, I like that. And I don't think anyone, I think that probably 95% of all Americans can agree that, um, that there are places in, you know, that, that gun ownership, responsible gun ownership is not a problem. I think, though, when you start talking about assault weapons being available to you, when I heard a man from the NRA, and I actually heard Paul Ryan, too, the, the um, who is the Speaker of the House now, I heard them saying, when they were saying, well, you know, they don't even have, they, they will allow people who are on the terror watch list to get guns. And what the NRA spokesman and what Paul Ryan both said in two separate interviews was, well, sometimes people get on those watch lists by mistake, so they can't take away their right to have a gun. I'm like, excuse me, no, you can take their right away to have a gun. Take them off the terror watch list if they're on that by mistake. But don't allow them to have. You know, they there are people in the in 